Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to work with SQLite Manager, how to download it on Mozilla and how to create a new database with SQLite Manager and how to make a new table and insert data. In this video, I will show you how to pass some important queries. So I will show you what queries which you must learn in order to kickstart with SQLite. So open your SQLite manager. In the last video, I have made this table called employee and in that table I have employee ID, name, surname and age, four columns. And this first column is automatically generated by this SQLite manager but this we will not consider and it is not the part of the table it's just for the reference and now we have uh, some eight employee IDs and their name title and age and now I will show you how to pass some queries to manipulate this data. So go to your execute query tab, this one in your SQLite manager. And in here you can write the queries, right? So first simple query you can write is, uh, I will show you in a moment, but first of all, I will show you a very good suggestion tab which will give you suggestions while you are making queries so in this execute query tab uh, go at the right and you will see select data manipulation create alter drop re-index and pragma these tabs at the right of this execute SQL tab when you click them they will give the suggestion for passing the queries. So for example, you press this select star from table name and it will give you how this query structure should look like. So select star from table name, our table name is employee. So just replace this table name and pass this query. It will give you all the table data. Now this star means all the data, whatever is present in the table. Now you want some specific data, then write the name of the column. For example, if you want only the name to show in the table, just write select name from your table name. And when you run this query, only the name column will appear and nothing else. Other column will be tolerated. So now if you want to show name and age, for example, so just write name comma age from your table name and just click it. And this time only name and age will come here. Now, for example, you want the data of the employee number 103. Only this data or you want the name of the employee whose employee ID is 103. So how can you get with the help of this SQLite? So just write select name from employee and we will we have to use where clause here so if you want you can take a suggestion from here select with where clause just click it and it will give you suggestion so it says select this uh, all or distinct so we want only name so we will select name and this will be the result from your table name this will this is what your employee table so replace this with employee where and your expression 
instead of where so you want the data of the employee whose employee ID is 103 so you will write here where this EMP ID EMP ID is equal to 103 right and just run this query it shows me some error so it's showing me some errors this will alert you with error and as far as I can see I haven't provided the space between select and name so I will just change here and I will give the space between select and name and now when I run my query it will give me the data of the employee ID 103 only the name right and once again I want the whole data of the employee so just write select star from employee where employee ID is 104 this time for example I want to search for and now you can get the whole data I mean four column all columns of the data so in this way you can use where query now in an another condition you may want to find the employee data where the employee age is between for example 32 and 38 all the employees you want the, the list of all employees whose age is between 32 and 38 this is uh, an example so what you can write is select star from employee where your age age between 32 and 38 so 32 and 38 okay and run the query and you will get the list of all employees whose age is between 32 and 38 only three employees are there okay when you are passing uh, the string instead of these numbers for example you want uh, the data of the employee whose uh, title is DBA okay so when you want to pass string you always cover it with single quotes so first I will not cover it by single quote and let's see what error it gives db where title is equal to dba and i run and it gives me the error and it says it's near dba but when i cover this dba data which is this title dba data and when I run the query once again it gives me the data okay so the employee whoever uh, is there whose data is whose title is DBA their information comes here so when you pass some string just cover it or enclose it in the single quotes now you may want uh, the list of employees in some order for example in ascending order of age you want uh, the list of employee it's not in ascending order so right now you can see tw 22 32 45 27 this is not in ascending order of age so we want to list out the data in ascending order so you will write select star from employee and write order by according to the age you want so you write order by age and run the query and 
if you notice here the age it's in ascending order so 22 27 32 36 so it's increasing now if you want descending order by default you don't want don't need to write uh, that you want the order in the ascending it takes the order by default ascending but if you want from largest value to the lowest value so this value you want at the top and this 22 at the bottom then you just add desc here and when you run the query once again it will give you the age in descending order so from the biggest age to the smallest age now what we can do more is uh, our select is almost over here you can write or you if you want to delete data so just go to this suggestion tab and just click delete and here it will give you suggestion delete from your table name so I will insert instead of table name and where where is our clause and after that what data you want to delete so for example I want to delete the data of employee ID 108 so you write selects from employee ID where employee ID is equal to 108 and just execute it and when you go to this browse and search tab once again it will delete the data of employee ID 108 you if you notice here if you want to insert data just go to insert query so here you can uh, see the suggestion from here and it says insert into your table name which is employee then the list of the column list so if you want um, to add or insert new data then you need empid comma name comma type and comma age so in the first bracket you will pass the name of the columns and then write values and in the second column you write the value list so value list for example employee ID is 108 comma the name mark and the title CEO for example and age is 58 and just click run and it's saying me some error you notice that I haven't enclosed this uh, string in single quotes so, so I also forgot to add and it gives me error so just add this string in single quote and here also single quote and run the query and it's run and now the new employee ID 108 mark tesser is added into this data go here and you will notice this employee is added here so now delete is okay and inserted is okay now if you want to update some data so just see the suggestion update and it will give you the update query suggestion so update table name which is employee set and assignment so whatever you want to set and then where expression so for example I will once again take this uh, 108 employee ID and I want to change the name of this employees so how can I do that so I will write update employee set and then assignment so 
name is equal to single quote single quote yeah and instead of mark I want the name John Tixa okay and where where your employee ID is 108 right so EMP ID is equal to 108 so I will update this name instead of this mark I want to add John here so run this query and your query is executed and see here the name is changed now so update delete and insert is complete once again let's see what's all there so if you want to create a table then here it is the suggestion if you want to create a new table so write create table if not exist and the table name so for example what can I add pump data for example and now the column names okay so in the column names first give the definition of your column so column name and then in the bracket give the column data type and give constraint if any so for example not null or primary key you can enter so I will give this bracket and I want uh, pump ID and it will take um, data type integer for example and pump data and it will take the var cat data type and I click run and it saves me error why because pump data you need to give table name you cannot give space in between the name of the table so now run the query and query is run and now here you can see one more table here and when you click and go to browse and search it has two rows pump data and pump id so in this way it's I have shown you some of the basic important query how to pass them but you can always go here and see the suggestion according to the requirement and uh, you can pass the queries so I my basic aim is to make you aware of these basic queries and now if your foundation is better then you can pass uh, other queries also by just seeing these suggestions so I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now